Welcome. This is the Energy Vibration reading for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Scorpions. Thank you for being here. This is the Energy Vibration reading for the year 2017. I want to say thank you for all the likes and shares, the thumbs up for the year 2016. Thank you. I'm hoping that you will continue to be on this journey with me in the year of 2017. This is wonderful. And these are beautiful, wonderful energies that are coming out for you guys. There is a lot of transformation, but also achievement. Your energy for this year is going to be achievement, success. Um, in all different forms, um, it's going to be wonderful for you guys. It's like the universe are going to bring blessings to you guys in this year, which is just going to be perfect and wonderful. As I do a breakdown and I look at you as a person who you are as a Pisces a scor scorpion person i'm so sorry scorpion person you have you, you you are the element vibration of water okay and you're a fix essay you don't like changes you really do not like changes but this is what you need to work on in 2017 because things are going to start changing um the color that you have is scarlet and red and rust red, rusty <laughs> rusty okay and your day is tuesday which is wonderful and you're ruled by the planet of pluto this is wonderful and powerful because this is going to help you the most compatible people that you can be around is Cancers and Pisces. These are people who you will feel at home with, who makes you feel at home, okay? The Cancers and the Pisces people. The best people to get married to is Tauruses, okay? The Tauruses. Really and truly, the Taurus people are the best people for you to be, to be your marriage partner, or your your partner in life wow you guys are this is just fantastic your lucky number is going to be 9 18 27 36 45 54 63 72 81 and 90 do i have to do this again okay your lucky number is going to be 9 18 27 36 45 54 63 72 81 and 90 um Wow. As we go on, remember your Zodiac birthday will begin on October 26, 2017 until November 21st. Okay. So October 34, uh, October 24, what's wrong with me? October 24, it's going to be your, um, begins your zodiac birthdays okay you am um, scorpions your strength is resourcefulness bravery passion stubbornness and uh, you're a very you're a true friend when you're a friend you're really a true friend your weakness is destructiveness jealousy secretive and violence so be careful um you need to balance out the your weaknesses and your um your strength the things you like, you like the truth, you like facts, you like being right, um, you like long-time friends, you like teasing, and you're a grand person for passion, which is just so wonderful. These are very good qualities. Um, you dislike dishonesty, um, revealing secrets, you dislike people revealing secrets, and passionate people. You dislike passionate people really okay all right as we go on um your energy is the emperor that means for all most of you scorpions you're going to be successful victorious in something it's wonderful because guess what is happening for you guys whenever the energy of the emperor comes in and it's going to be the energy vibration for you guys. It's personal power and leadership. This is wonderful because you're going to work on your personal power and leadership in the year of, uh, in this year, 2017. So this is wonderful. In January, you have the universe. Wonderful. The universe comes in with the, um, and the planet of Saturn, and that is going to help you so much to balance your masculine and feminine side. 
the universe is going to bring some of you enlightenment it's going to bring some of you individuality it's going to bring some of you prosperity it's going to bring some of you victory it's going to bring some of you wholeness it's going to bring some of you completion so this is wonderful because in january the universe is here which is bringing an end to a situation and new beginnings and new wonderful fantastic beginnings in your life so congratulations in the month of february the sun energy comes up another wonderful brilliant vibrated energy it's because new energies um, you're going to start working in groups of people, um, corporations. So you're going to have positive, good fortune coming your way. And this is just wonderful for you guys. Just about everyone will see that happening in their lives because the sun energy has everything. Everything is going to become clear. Everything is going to um, vibrate at such a vitality energy of strength that is just going to be powerful and open up doors of opportunities for you in the month of march the tower energy come but this is good this is good because it is working with the planet of mars so you know there is something that is going to come to an end whatever that was negative whatever negative that was blocking you and keeping you away it's going to be erupted and it's going to be released and then your emotions are going to erupt and all these things, all the energies that were there blocking you and keeping you away, you're going to start to feel good now because um, the world, the sun and the tower, you're going to just feel so wonderful about yourself and where you are at this time in your life. So the three first months, January till March, is going to begin the year on a powerful, wonderful note. The month of January is bringing the uh, end of a cycle and something beautiful. February is the new energy of sun, radiant, vibrant, all wonderful things. And uh, as we look at the second quarter in March, you'll be walking away from a negative situation or something that no longer serves you. And the planet of Uranus is here. And this is just so wonderful because it's new journeys. It's like your life is about to begin with wonderful, wonderful, victorious things in your life. And you're going to be so happy. As we look at the chariot May, we have the energy vibration of the chariot victory and success this energy is the energy of you conquering something in your life you're having inner strength victory and success wonderful possibility the world the moments in the world is just going to be open up to you and new vitality and everything is going to come in that you need it is going to this is just a transformation of you becoming your best self so this is just going to be powerful for you guys this is going to be extremely wonderful as we look at June, the energies is, is going to be the Empress, which is the motherly figure. The, 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 you're going to feel the feminine side of you, all you women scorpions out there. You're going to feel inner um, um, feminine strength. It's like the loving, the loving part of you is going to open up. It's going to be so open. You're going to be so happy. You're going to feel the energy of service. You're going to see abundance coming in your life just like magic, okay? So each and every person, the men, the women, it's going to be a transformation of your old life and your old existence. You're going to be like the butterfly that is changing, okay? And this is just going to bring just wonderful things. It's an earth energy, so it's supporting you. It's wonderful. You have a lot of hurt energies in this year and this is just so wonderful that mean balance is coming in your life as we look at july we have the energy of the magician the energy of the magician has the planet of mercury the magician is going to come in and help you to um it's like your whole existence is just going to change the aspect and you, you, they have intuition feelings of all sort of a communications and stuff. And this is just going to be wonderful and balancing out wonderful, beautiful things in your life, which is just so exciting for you guys. 
as we look at August, the energy of the elephant, another heart energy. So, you know, the second quarter is just going to be powerful because you have the energy of the elephant and then you have the sign of the masculine um, side of you coming out. So this is going to be so good because you're going to feel yourself. You're going to feel your life force. You're going to feel your energy. You're going to just connect with the universe, the stars and everything. But yet still, you're going to use that and connect with other people in other group and other situations and this is just going to be powerful for you guys you know the the the, the second quarter the second um, quarter is just going to be powerful for you guys because you have the empress which is an earth energy again with the magician which is just so powerful so strong and the elephant, which is working with organization. So it's like you're going to connect to a group of people who is going to bring you to a higher level of existence, which is powerful. As we look at the third quarter, we have the month of September. We have the Wheel of Fortune, success, luck, victory. A lot of wonderful things are coming in your life. And this is going to be a time in the month of September, when you're going to see prosperity, abundance coming in your life. It's beautiful. It's wonderful because a lot of success you have. You are the only one that has the world, the sun, the wheel of fortune, victory and success. Wonderful energies. So, you know, in the month of September, you are going to see in your life just wonderful fortunes. It's like Christmas in the month of October, in the month of September. That is so wonderful and so good. In the month of October, you have strength, 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 so many strength, inner strength. It's like you're going to be boost with the power of enlightenment, insightfulness, passion, your brilliancy. You're going to let go the energy of, 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 um, you're going to really let go the energy of control in your life. Instead, you're going to start to domineer, um, this energy into solving things, into removing obstacles out of your life, into acknowledging who you are as the person, to be strong, to be overcoming certain things things that you have never learned to overcome and this is just going to be so positive for you guys in October because that was going to be in your birthday month so that is just going to bring changes in your life which is just going to be powerful for the month of November for the people whose birthday fall in November you're going to work with the feminine side of you the devil is here and it's going to bring you a lot of pleasure So for the people who have their birthdays in November, this is going to be a time when pleasure is going to come in your life in October. So a month of October, expect a lot of stuff because um, then you will have um, in October Thanksgiving, which is wonderful, but yet still you'll have the energies for the people who celebrate Thanksgiving, I should say. But yet still you'll have the energies of uh, um, Halloween in the end of October. So November, October is just going to be fantastic. And what is so magical about this year, 2017, especially for you guys who are celebrating your birthday between the end of October and November, is that the month is the month of the magician. So, I mean, you guys has the power in your hand to make magic, to bring magic in your life, to manifest whatever you will. And especially the um, energy of Halloween in the year 2017 this year, it's going to be powerful. It's like the veils are going to be extremely thin. And this is good for you guys, because what you can do is manifest that which you would like to have in your life, which is just going to be powerful powerful and which is go just going to be helping the energies to 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 vibrate at a, a higher energy vibration which is a so powerful and so good and i'm loving this energies for you guys so you know transformation is going to be wonderful for you guys as we look at december is a time of rebirth you're going to 
feel as if you're a totally different person in December. And this is so wonderful. And I'm so happy for you, Scorpions, because you, Scorpions, has been just so wonderful, so great. Uh, you guys have gone through a lot of stuff, but yet still you help the other signs in the year 2016 to see who their enemies to see the people who were working against them and now the universe is blessing you and you're really being blessed in this year of 2017 because the world you begin you're the only one that has begun 2017 with the world energy and you fi finish it with transformation okay as I look at your reading, it's one of the most powerful readings ever because you begin the, 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 the energy to begin the world, a new year, a new zodiac year with um, the world and um, the energy of the year is the year of the magician and you scorpions begin the first month of the year as the world this is just wonderful this is like your dreams and wishes everything that you have always wished and dreamed for is coming in your life february the sun comes out in your world because something that you have been so wanted your entire life is about to come in your life which is a so powerful march the energies of the tower comes in in March, which is cleansing something that was in balance. And it's going to bring you out and bring you on a new journey. And this is just so fantastic, so powerful. The energy of victory and success comes in in the month of May. And this is powerful. So February, May, uh, January is going to be powerful, wonderful months for you guys. As we look at um, June, the energy vibration of the Empress, she is here and she is just so connecting with you and you are loving this energy. And it's like she's giving you the energy because in July, you have the magician and it's like you awaken something in you and you're manifesting a lot of things. The energy of organization and group of people the whole wheel of fortune is just going to bring you success beyond your wisest imagination. Um, in um, October, you have inner strength, which is wonderful. And that is giving you a chance uh, to relax. Uh, um, November, you're going to indulge in something. So this is perfect. And then at December, what is going to happen for you guys is that that whole energy vibration, you're going to be transformed formed so success um um achievement uh, wonderful leadership roles uh, wonderful stuff are coming in for you guys uh, this is going to be a year when you are going to overcome all that obstacles all those things that has been keeping you back and I want to say to each and every person out there, th these are just wonderful, wonderful life experience, life energy, especially in the first six months of the year 2017. Life is going to change in uh, um, things beyond your, your, your control. Things are just going to be so fantastic. Doors of opportunities are going to open for a lot of people. Business deals are going to come out for a lot of people. The last um, six months is going to be really when you see the real transformation, the real changes. Um, you're going to see yourself elevated and vibrate at such a high energy vibration, which is beyond... Um, what you had expected okay and this is just going to be fabulous wonderful energies that is going to come in for you guys i'm so grateful to be giving you guys this reading because it's it's a wonderful powerful reading it's a year when all your dreams all the things that you have wished for your wishes and uh, your dreams and wishes will be coming out in this year for you guys it's really a, a year where your um, dreams and wishes will be coming out to unbelievable achievement, success, everything that you need will be falling right in place. It's like a puzzle which is going to complete itself in the year 2017. As we look at what it is in the law of um, 
um, the law of abundance for you guys in the year of 2017. It is the end, the energy of uh, affluency, affluency, and affluency is when you choose to be debit free and to live an affluent and healthy life. So you live debit free. That is such a wonderful vibration, people, to just really live debit free, to just choose to have, to free yourself of all debts, you know, to live and and, 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 and life of affluency and healthy life that you don't have to worry about your debts. You know, it is, you know, sometimes people have so much stress because they're worrying about their debts. And this is something that is killing us as humanity because we, we are constantly worried about our debts. And this is a year for you, Scorpions, that you are no longer going to worry about your debts. You you guys have the most luckiest numbers in this year of 2017. The year is a year of magical happenings and expect magic. Use your lucky numbers. Use um, this reading to see which months are so vital. The magician comes out in the month of July. The magician is there in the month of July. That is going to help you along your part. That is going to help you along your journey. And the magician is going to help you because the year is the year of the magician. 2017 is the year of the magician. For you Scorpion people, it is the year when magic is just going to um, affect you in just ways is beyond your wildest dream. So this is just going to be really, really, really fantastic. As we look at what your soul is saying to you, loneliness, you know that you are never alone. Listen, people, never think about loneliness. You're never alone. You're never, ever alone. And this is the year. The year 2017 is going to let you see that you're never alone. Even if your loved ones are far away from you, they and you are always in their hearts, okay? For the people who are going to um, lose loved ones in this year, you're never going to be alone, okay? You're never, ever going to be alone. You're never alone. Each and every one of us was born with guiding angels. Some of us have more guiding angels than the rest. But guess what? We are never, ever alone. And the universe is going to show you this in the year of 2017. For your love life, what is going to happen in your love life? Addictions, codependency. The energy of your love life is going to be codependency. Affirmations are affecting your um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. What is happening here is that codependency, codependency is the what is going to ruin your life in relationship. Stop being codependent, people. Stand up on your own two feet. This year is going to teach you that you need to not to be codependent. You need to learn to stand up on your own two feet. And by doing this, wonderful blessings and wonderful things are going to happen for you. Okay. Whenever we are codependent, that means we're always expecting and always want to, someone else to be there with us. And this isn't good. This is not good because what is happening here is that by codependent, you're taking the energy of someone else, okay? And what is wonderful is that we're going to go right back and look at what was happening. Your soul was saying loneliness. And now, you know, all these energies have a boundary and connect with each other. I know that I'm never alone. 
Remember that there is a difference between being lonely or being alone. Feeling things of loneliness originated from the sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, which is yourself. So yes, people only feel lonely whenever they don't appreciate them own, uh, their selves because by not appreciating yourself, that is the time when you feel lonely. Feeling alone originate from a state of not appreciating who you are. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will naturally help and nourish your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw on healthy relationships to you. So again, this is why, you know, the soul, the soul people, the soul is telling you something. Your soul is always telling you something. And when I saw the energy of loneliness and then codependence came up, that was where I realized that there is a message that a lot of you Scorpions should receive. You need to start loving yourself. The most important person is yourself, you know, and to create healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel love in a very unfamiliar way to start loving yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner works and to reveal your part. You to start on a new journey. As you sit in silence of the soul, you will realize that your, your, your spiritual family Teachers and guides are with you. And this is what I always say to people. It is wonderful when you sit alone and still take a cup of tea. Then you can communicate. But some people do not like. They think that they are the only one. Each and every one of us hear these voices. It is the, uh, the voices of our angels and guides. Do not let anyone tell you any difference. And this is why people are afraid to um, accept the edges of these voices. Because it's the same voices that you have a feelings not to drive one way and it's the same voices as saying that somebody isn't good it is just your angels and guides who are really guiding you and working with you through your intuition the only time that you do not listen to the guides is when they're telling you to do something negative and that is whenever you attract negative energies to you so open up to the energies and realize that you are never alone listen to your guides and angels they're always there they're all good guides it's only when we attract negative energies or other people send negative energies to us that is when we sort of a uh, um attract a negative sort of a uh, um energies who are telling you something again your energy the last and final card is be a leader you are going to be affiliate with the energy vibration of being a leader and this is powerful and wonderful because by being a leader and by being there you are going to teach um people to vibrate at a high energy vibration so what is important for you guys is guide others, prioritize yourself, action, take action, structures, learn about structures and organization, the effect that this has on other people and uh, um, reasons, okay? In matters of the heart, the energy of, uh, of us, uh, we examine the role we play in our relationships. Do not take lead and guide the direction of a relationship or do you follow the other person? You know, this is wonderful because these are questions that you all need to ask yourself. There has been 
and even exchange of energy. And this is time for all relationship to shine. The, the energies of your guiding angels will help you to live healthy ways and to focus on the intellectual part of your relationship. These are wonderful times. You know, when you're looking for a relationship, each person must make the relationship a priority. Okay. So if you're in a relationship and the one person is making it a priority, the other person is not making it a priority. There's something wrong in the relationship. It's not an healthy relationship. It's time to move out of this energy vibration. Okay. As we go on and we're looking at the wonderful things, your affirmation, it's going to be, I ensure that all my relationships are healthy and that each person needs are met. Okay. So you need to understand that all, um, relationships are healthy and each person needs are being met and here then you will realize that the energies of life are so wonderful and that we don't need other people to make us feel better what we need is just love in our lives and understand healthy boundaries in relationship and by understanding what are the healthy boundaries in relationship we will understand how to communicate with other people okay so ensure that your relationship, ensure that your relationship are healthy and that, uh, um, that each and every person vibrates at a, a high energy vibration. Okay. And then everything will be okay. This, these are wonderful, um, energies. Okay. I am loving these energies for you guys. And I want to say to you, if you'd like to have a personal readings and you'd like to connect with us, um, please, 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 please. Um, you can still connect with us as you connect via our website and the personal readings are open until the 31st of, uh, until the 31st of, <laughs> of March, 2017. So, um, I want to say to you, the only thing that is real is love. Remember that you're never alone and release yourself of co codependency this year. It's nothing for you. You or uh, scorpions release yourself of codependency. Okay. Nothing else is real except love. And I want to say namaste until next year. Oh,